In this Microsoft Word quick tip, I'm going to show you how to check the readability level of your Microsoft Word documents. And this can help you know whether or not the vocabulary that you're using and the voice that you're using in your document is hitting the right mark for your audience. Are you using too many big words, too complicated of language, or is it about right? The first step that I'll need to do is go up here to File and click and then go down to Options. Now, on my computer, options don't show up in the list because the computer screen is small. So I'll just click on More, and there's Options. And it brings up a whole bunch of options and settings for Microsoft Word. I'm going to go to Proofing and make sure that Show Readability Statistics is checked. While I'm here, notice all of the many options that there are for spelling correction, checking for grammar, etc. This is something that's good to review if you use Microsoft Word a lot. I'll go down and click OK. And now, when I go to do a spell check, it will also give me readability statistics. Now, where is spell check? I don't see spell check here on review or on the home tab. The reason for that is Microsoft Word now simply puts spell check under the category of editor. You can get to it on the review tab by going here in the upper left and clicking, or on the home tab here at the right, it should be there, especially in newer versions of Microsoft Word. Let's try it out on this document. So I'll click the editor button, and it gives me some suggestions for spelling and grammar. In this case, it's already been spell checked, so there are no errors. But here it gives me readability statistics for this document. Number of words, characters, paragraphs, sentences, all of this is very important. Average words per sentence, characters per word, all of that speaks to the readability of a document. But maybe the most useful indications of readability are these down here. Microsoft Word applies a couple of reading tests or readability tests to your document. So for example, this first reading test this number of 73.1, according to Microsoft, that's a little bit high. Microsoft recommends a score between 60 and 70, and I have 73, so I need to tone down my awesome vocabulary, apparently. This second readability score here, the Flesh Kincaid grade level score, will rate your document based on the grade level in the United States that a text is written for. And according to Microsoft, in most cases, you're shooting for between 7th and 8th grade. So that's interesting. In this case, it looks like my document is a little bit low for the intended audience. And then notice the percentage of sentences that are in passive voice, passive sentences. Now, of course, all of this is relevant regardless of your audience. It's good to know whether or not you're hitting the mark approximately of reading level, etc. But especially in a school setting, what a powerful tool to have in Microsoft Word for teachers, also for students. Before turning in a document, you might want to check and see what grade level it's written for, according to Word. When you're done with these statistics, just click OK. You can click OK again, and you can X out of this panel at the right, and then resume typing up your document. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see links to those opportunities in the description below the video.